Okay, this week's unusual instrument is this thing, which is a 1937 Jalas Mando bass. So this is the you know bass instrument of the mandolin family. It's tuned just like an upright bass or a, you know, electric guitar bass, EADG. Got geared tuners up here. It's a spruce top, maple back. Um, the scale on this one is about 39 and um, 3 eighths, which is a little shorter than, say, a Gibson. A Gibson Mando bass about 42 and a half, and which is close to what you know the scale length of an upright bass, uh, like a three-quarter upright bass, is about 42 usually. Like all the Jalas instruments, this thing has you know, double top construction. So there's this this top which only goes down this far, which the fretboard is glued to, and then there's a second top right here, a second top right here that um, the bridge is glued to, and this top goes up under the first top all the way up to here, and uh, there's actually another sound hole in this second top inside there. So it's an unusual design, and uh, because of that, the, the strings are kind of pulling at a, um, an oblique angle to this top, you know, it's, um, maybe 12 degrees or so, which kind of gives it, I think, a bit more sustain. But anyway, this, this, this design uh, for a Mando bass is just like a giant flat top, really. Um, so it has a lot different sound than, uh, say, um, Gibson Mando bass or a, an upright bass. Um, and you have to use you know, slightly lighter strings as well, which has the advantage of making it easier to play a bit. Anyway, I will give it a whirl <sighs> so you can get an idea. I'll play it you know, with my fingers and I'll also play it with the pick.
Thank you.